स्टूडेंट्स असलम स्टूडेंट्स आज हम जिस चैप्टर को पढ़ने लगे हैं उसमें ह्यूमन ऑर्गन सिस्टम्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द नर्वस सिस्टम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर नंबर वन ऑफ योर क्लास एट बुक फर्स्ट चैप्टर विच इज ह्यूमन ऑर्गन सिस्टम्स Now we are going to discuss the SLOs of this chapter, which we are going to discuss the nervous system. In this chapter, in this video, we are going to discuss about the structure and functions of nervous system. Then, working of the nervous system. We'll discuss about the reflex action and differentiate between voluntary. and involuntary actions nervous system human organ system as we previously we have discussed that human organ system consist of two basic parts in this chapter we'll discuss nervous system and later we'll discuss the excretory system now the nervous system what is nervous system the network of nerve cells and fibers which transmits nerve impulses between parts of the body is called nervous system nervous system carries messages from one part of the body to another and coordinates the body functions human nervous system consists of two parts number 1 is central nervous system which is called cns and next cns consist of brain and spinal cord the next part peripheral nervous system human nervous system consist of peripheral nervous system pns which consist of the network now this is the diagram for central nervous system and peripheral nervous system you know the central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cord and the peripheral nervous system consists of a network now in your book we'll discuss first and the major organ which is the basic fundamental unit of nervous system which is neuron or nerve cell Neuron or nerve cell is the basic structural and functional unit of nervous system. Neurons carry messages in the form of electrochemical waves called nerve impulses. And neuron consists of three main parts. Number 1 is the cell body, dendrites, and the last is axon. Now you can see this figure. You can clearly see the cell body which consist of the nucleus and cytoplasm is present inside it dendrites are present and the axon now nerve what is nerve nerve is actually the enclosed cable like bundle of axons present side by side in the common sheath there are basic different types of neurons number 1 is the sensory neuron sensory neurons carry messages from sense organs to the central nervous system motor neurons they carry messages from central nervous system to the muscles or glands and the last is interneurons interneurons are present in brain and spinal cord now the major part of this nervous system is central nervous system or cns central nervous system consists of first part which is called brain now brain is the major part is the most important part of central nervous system brain consists of three different parts fore brain mid brain and hind brain now we discuss forebrain forebrain 
is divided into three major parts cerebrum which is the top part and the largest part of forebrain it controls many actions like thinking feeling emotions seeing hearing perception memory etc similarly thalamus which is the second part of the forebrain it is the small structure inside the cerebrum and it controls many sensory functions now the third part of the forebrain is hypothalamus it lies at the base of the thalamus and it controls body temperature hunger and thirst now the second part of the brain is midbrain this is a small part of the brain below cerebrum and it receives information from sense organs and send messages to the forebrain the last part of the brain is hindbrain now the hindbrain further divided into three major parts cerebellum bones and medulla oblongata cerebrum it controls for the body balance making precise and accurate movements bones is the oval structure beneath midbrain and it control many functions for example sleep swallowing equilibrium and taste etc third part of the hind brain is medulla oblongata it is the posterior part of the brain and it is connected with the spinal cord and it controls heartbeat breathing and digestion and keeps on working when rest of the brain goes to i can see this figure the major part is the forebrain you can see cerebrum you can see thalamus you can see hypothalamus in it next is the midbrain and the last is the hind brain which consist of different parts that is cerebellum bones and medulla oblongata now pns or peripheral nervous system the next part of our nervous system is peripheral nervous system peripheral nervous system consists of network of nerves connecting all the body parts to the central nervous system there are two types of nerves which are present in peripheral nervous system number 1 is the cranial cranial nerves the nerves that arise from the brain and the second part is the spinal nerves the nerves which arise from the spinal cord now students after having some knowledge about central nervous system and peripheral nervous system we must know what are receptors and what are effectors receptors the special organs tissues or cells which detect stimuli are called receptors what is stimuli stimuli is the response stimuli is to feel heat and cold now effectors the motor neurons carry nerve impulses to the part of the body which produce that response such parts are called effectors for example muscles and glands they act as now the actions controlled by the nervous system we all know that two types of actions voluntary actions and involuntary actions what are voluntary actions voluntary actions are the body actions performed under conscious control that means done after thinking over them for example speaking when i am speaking to you it is my voluntary action when i am reading from a book when i'm eating something when i'm walking when i'm running and clapping whatever i'm do with my conscious control it is called voluntary action now the involuntary actions those actions 
which are performed without thinking over them are called involuntary actions. That means they are not performed under conscious control. For example, heartbeat. Your heart beats. You don't know but your heart beats. Your blood circulates. Whenever you go to sleep, your blood circulates. Breathing system, respiratory system, blinking of your eyes, etc. Now all these actions which are controlled under voluntary or conscious control, they are called voluntary actions and those which are controlled, which are not controlled or without thinking over them are called involuntary actions. I hope you understand them. Now, last slide is of reflex action. Reflex action, what is it? An immediate an involuntary response to the stimulus is called reflex action. What is this reflex arc? We all know that whenever we touch this hot pot, this hot object, we immediately or involuntary response to that stimulus and that response to the stimulus is called reflex action. Now my conclusion, in this video we have discussed about nervous system, we have discussed about central nervous system, we have discussed about peripheral nervous system, we have discussed about neurons, their parts, sensory neurons, motor neurons, interneurons, then we discuss about central nervous system which is different parts of the brain, forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. Then we discuss about spinal cord and peripheral nervous system in which cranial nerves and spinal nerves are present. Then we discuss about voluntary and involuntary actions and we discuss about the reflex action. Now it's time for your home assignments. Please note it down. My first question is what is neuron or nerve cell? Now students, you have to draw the diagram of neuron or nerve cell, which is the basic structure, basic and fundamental structure of our nervous system. How many parts a neuron or nerve cell has? Next. My next question is define voluntary and involuntary actions. You can write it down definition of voluntary and involuntary actions and then you discuss different voluntary actions which you perform and different involuntary actions which you perform in your daily life. Number three, write a note on central nervous system. We have discussed central nervous system. I hope you understand central nervous system. So my question is that you just write it down on a complete note on central nervous system. My last question is differentiate between sensory neurons and motor neurons. See you inshallah in the next video in which we will discuss excretory system. Take good care of yourself and Allah Hafiz Thank you.